Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing the FR Sky X Lite battery mod. And it's going to be pretty quick and pretty simple. You are going to need a specific component which is a small voltage regulator. And I'll show you where to get that. You can check the links down below. I highly recommend you pick up a bunch of these because they, these will be for a bunch of modding videos and a lot of projects. And you could just never have enough of these little guys. So I'll leave a link to them down below. So another thing before we begin, if you want, if you didn't know what color to choose, um, here's both of them next to each other. But um, I'd highly recommend, I mean, depending on who you are, but the red is absolutely gorgeous, like really nice. Like if I seen, I wanted the red before anyways, but it's just, it's, it's a nice red color. It doesn't even look like a toy. It just looks crazy. All right. So enough talking, let's get started. So first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and remove the screws. There should be four screws. I think two here and two here. Two of them are with the two millimeter hex driver. And then the other one is just going to be a Phillips screwdriver. Once you remove those, it's going to get a little bit difficult to pop the rest off so let's take a look at this so right now I have it off I don't want to close it because it's such a pain to take it off now what I usually do is this would be closed right there and I would start sticking my screwdriver in there and pop it up and once it pops up I start popping up this side here um, it is very difficult to do but once you get it to pop it'll pop off there's nothing else holding it and I did break this one I think this side or is it this side this side see as you can tell yeah because I started from here I did break that that's fine doesn't really matter all right, so let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we want to do here, let's take a look here. So here we have one battery and here we have another battery. What we want to do is we want to take a look at this, this screw right here and this screw right here. And I'll get in that in a little bit. So let's get started doing, um, let's get started with this side here first. So let me just grab a screwdriver. All right, so the first thing we want to do is actually let's remove these right here. All right. It's just one screw right there. Once it focuses, that screw, once you remove it, pop this guy off. Okay, so now we're all set and good. So what we want to do next, it's okay, we can keep that there. We want to switch these two wires. Okay, so where do we go? Where is something sharp here? There we go. All right. So we want to do just pop these off. Just be very careful with these. Don't, don't, don't push too much. And then that will come off. And then the next one. And we just want to invert them now and again if you invert these please do ne never put back your batteries or you will possibly burn your fr sky you have to unplug it and revert these back all right so there we go okay make sure you pinch this little white piece right there just pinch it down make sure they're not going to come out all right so this side is basically done let's go ahead and just put it in now and we're just going to go ahead and screw this guy in again all right, same process for the other side. No, actually, we don't need to do that for the other side. So, which is going to be really nice. So, let's just go ahead and install this guy back. Just like this. All right, so now what do we need? Now, well, actually, we need two wires. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring some pretty long silicone wires because depending on how long you need it, depending on, like, you know, uh, how far you're going to be placing the type of battery that you're going to be using. So let's take a look here. So we want, you see the screw right here? Let's go ahead and grab our first ground wire. Make sure there's nothing on the other side so you can route it through here. And I'll explain why in a little bit. As you can tell, it's routed through there. So I'm just gonna keep that routed right now. All right. And what we wanna do is, I went ahead and did the wrong side. What we wanna do is we wanna strip this side. Let's strip one side here. All right, I think just a little bit more is gonna be good. Twist this guy. There's not going to be a need for soldering right here. All right, and we see this screw right here. There it is, that one right there. What we want to do is we want to go ahead and undo that screw. You don't want to do it, undo it all the way. So you just kind of have it lifted because what we want to do is we want to go ahead and drop this guy in and kind of wrap him around a little. And then we're just going to screw it with that guy. This way we're not really modifying anything hardcore to the uh, controller here. There we go. Make sure it's nice and tight in there because you don't want that to get loose. All right, that's very nice. Okay, so now we have our ground. I'm going to go ahead and route the ground wire through this side here. It doesn't matter which side. Actually, I'm going to do it through this side here. It doesn't matter the side you use. All right, so there we go. We're going to have to have them come from the side here because I think there was not much room right there. So there we have one wire here done. Now we need a positive wire. 
So let's go ahead and grab a positive wire. Where is it? We just need a silicone wire. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do this yellow piece right here because we inverted it there. So let's go ahead and set that up. All right, twist it. Now we need the screwdriver. There it is. All right. So yeah, the, the red one looks a lot better than the black one, to be honest. Like a lot better. But I mean, it's, it's personal taste, really. So it's up to you on that perspective. All right, there we go. So I actually want this because I want to bring it up that way. So let's just see how we want this thing to be. So what I do is I don't undo this screw all the way and then it allows this little piece to play and I'll just put it under that piece like so and just keep some pressure and then come in and close on it. All right, so that's in. And now I'm gonna go ahead and route it to the other hole here with the ground wire. Make sure you route them to the same area and I'll explain why later. All right, so there we go. Actually, you know what? You wanna route them below these plastic things uh, because it'll be very difficult. You don't want to pinch these wires when uh, when you close this thing. So you got to take that into consideration. All right. So we're just going to follow these wires here. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm following this wire since obviously they left it there because they know there's room there. So I'm going to go ahead and follow along with them. And we're just going to route it through one of these holes here. Uh, you don't want to get it close to the gimbal. So take that into consideration also. So try to keep, avoid the gimbal as much as possible there. There we go. And that's why it's recommended to use silicone wires. I'll leave a link to the silicone wires that I'm actually using right now. And I think you want to go ahead and push that wire above the terminal, the head jack terminal right there. Okay, now we just slide it through this thing here. All right. All right, so here we're basically done. We can even close this now. So just double checking. Yes, ground to ground. Okay, and positive to positive. All right, so everything looks good. Now we can actually totally close this now. We're, we're done here. We don't need anything else. And uh, let me just double check something. All right, now we just go ahead and just close this guy. And just Let's just make sure we could easily close it. I haven't tried to close it just yet. All right, so everything's closed. And now we have the wire sticking from the bottom here. And now what we need to do next is we need to go ahead and grab an XT60 connector and a voltage regulator before doing anything else with this. Once we set this up, if you take a look on the back here, it'll have in plus and in minus once it focuses. So you want to go ahead and set up the from the XT60, the ground to the in minus and then the positive to the in plus. Once that's set up, make sure you have it correct. Plug in a battery. All right. And then let's just zoom out here. So now I have a battery plugged in. And you want, there's a little screw right there. It's basically a potentiometer that allows you to choose uh, the voltage to output here. So let's go ahead and check this out. So here's out plus and out minus. So there we go. So we're going to go ahead and check this with a multimeter now. Now I've already set this before I started the video, just so I don't take a lot of your time. And um, I have set it, 8.4 volts is around a full battery. Is it a full battery? 4.2, 4.2. Yeah, 8.4 volts is a full battery. So I have mine set to 8.36. Uh, volts. So let me show you 8.36 volts. So that's going to be perfect. So uh, now I'm perfect here. So make sure you set in between 8 and 8.4 uh, output here before proceeding to the next step. So here we're all set and done. Make sure you unplug this guy. As you can tell here, it is very nice. So next step is I highly recommend you get, you know, you can get some heat shrink or even better. You can get yourself some tape. So I'm, I have this clear heat shrink, which I'll be using. And now what we need to do is we need to just grab these two wires right here and set them up on ground and positive. Usually, you know, if you if you did these correct, then that's ground and then that's positive. You can go with the color of the wire. So let's prepare the soldering station here. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this heat shrink. It does. Oh, yeah, I'll just drop it now. So I'm just dropping the heat shrink now so I don't have to do anything. So what's so cool about this while the soldering station heats up is when you're done, you can just tuck everything back in here and then close on it with the, the thingy. So that's really nice. But a way to hold your battery probably in your pocket or something, um, that's the only way I could currently see that would actually kind of work. I haven't tested this in the field. I have no idea how it's gonna be in the field, but we will figure this out eventually. 
But it, I was just amazed that no one still made a battery mod for this. Because I took so long to do mine. Because of the first one. I think I burned the first one to be honest. Maybe. But we're going to take it apart and check it out. Alright, so that's all set up. I just added some solder to these guys. And as you can tell here, this is going to be ground. And if you flip it over, it'll say out minus. So now the out minus is going to go there. It's like hella far away from me. Okay, I'll probably fix that later on. But it's good so far. Let's get the positive now. Make sure I straighten up the wire. Positive is going to be on that side. Did I trim this? I think it needs a little bit of trimming here. All right. So that's all done. Now I know I'm outputting 8.3 volts, which is almost a full battery, which is theoretically actually a full battery. All right. So we have this all set up. Let's just take a wider look here. All right. So this is all set up. Let's go ahead and do a quick test run. So we have our XT or XT60 connector right here. We have our FR Sky X light and we're going to go ahead and connect it. Hopefully we don't see any smoke and let's power up this guy. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So there we go. It's just that simple. So let's just go ahead and finalize this guy. So, well, that's it guys. That's how you modify your FR Sky X light. And um, yeah, I didn't solder this on correctly because I couldn't see, but that's totally fine. So yeah, I'll leave a link to everything down below. So if you want to go ahead and do this mod, it's just simple. All you need is just some XC60 connector, some silicone wires, and a voltage regulator right here. So overall, it was a pretty quick and simple process. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this content, please let me know down in the comment section. If you guys want to see anything else modified, let me know also. I can contact the companies and uh, usually they're agreeing nowadays. So that's really nice. So for example, I have the Eoshin VR D2 now on the way because a lot of people also requested that one for a Fat Shark mod. So yeah, I'll be doing a lot more mods. And I do have another mod for this for the, um, what is it called? Crossfire in the module bay. I think I'm going to go ahead and design a new module bay for this uh, PCB layout possibly, which makes it really nice. So, but that's going to take some time. And um, yeah, guys, so let me know if you guys like this content. And uh, if you guys want to see anything else, please let me know down in the comment section. And everything is linked down below. If you're wondering where to get everything, if you'd use those, those greatly support the channel. I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.